should try to keep the <coughs> the underside of the belt level as much as possible mm -hmm. because the underside of the belt is what will be grabbed here by the by the carriage moving back and forth so we need to keep that part level um, and because of there's a slight difference in diameter between this end and uh, the stepper motor mm -hmm. so one side of the belt will taper off a bit but that can be the top side and that doesn't matter that doesn't bother us so if we keep the underside of the belt here level with the underside of the belt at the other end mm -hmm. it should be good yeah, yeah this, this washer is probably slightly too big because this washer will not only <coughs> rub against the center of the bearing mm -hmm. But also against the seal. Oh yeah. And the seal will spin with the outside. But well, these bearings or these washers yeah, that are supposed to go with the bearings, that yep. should work perfectly. Nice. So that's basically washers and bearings. Yep. A set of bearings from uh, skates. And some washers, and this whole contraption can be clamped here. And I intend to uh, cut this in half, and then use the holes that are already there to mount it like this. Mm -hmm. Yep. And because it's mounted at an angle, it will be very strong. Um, Yep. It'll be able to withstand uh, the tension on the belt. Yep. Very cool. I made pointies. Oh. <sighs> well, just like we discussed earlier, these ones can hold uh, the bearing at the far end. Something like this. Well, this part works. Um, the extra length on the bolts is uh, to grab uh, the belt. This is the first test run of the X axis. really nice this is the experimental thingy still here's the stepper doing micro steps and you can see it's all aligned very good all nice and straight this is a very clever solution that part came up with no wood just natural clamping and it's all nice and aligned comes here this is what we showed earlier with the inline skate ball bearings works like a charm And the sound is not too bad. I was a bit worried about the sound, but you can hardly hear it. Probably I can go a little bit faster, but with this speed I'm 100% sure I, I'm not missing any steps. With the final firmware and final circuit I, I will try to go a little bit faster, maybe twice as fast or something, and that should be fine.